What's up, everybody? It is your girl, Dana Patrice, a.k.a. The Black Fairy, and I am here with another reading. This time, messages from your divine feminine. All right, welcome to Black Fairy Guidance. Um, at this time, I'm not taking personals. Um, however, there will be an extended version of this reading that will be listed in the description box below. Um, this reading will not resonate with everybody. It is general, okay? It is for the collectives, and it will not resonate with all of you, and that is perfectly fine. Um, also, this reading does not expire, so you will see it when you are meant to see it, if you are meant to see it. Um, and that is about it, you guys. Let's get into it. Let's get into what your divine feminines are thinking, um, what they're up to right now. Yeah, let's go. So as always, I start with the fairy oracle deck. After all, I'm the black fairy. I'll do some romance angels and we'll clarify with some tarot cards, okay? Spirit of the universe, I call you forward in love, light, righteousness, and truth. What message do these divine feminines have for their partners at this time? You seek your guidance, your love, and your divine clarity. Messages from divine feminines to their partners. Feminines, what do you have to say? Divine feminines are really focusing on their energy right now. Okay, it says with boundless energy, you can accomplish more than you ever thought possible. So, divine feminines are really focusing on that energy, that good prana. They're being creative, they're putting their energy into being creative, and this is allow your creative spark to work magic. So, they're really again working on manifesting something. Yeah, they're going through a transformation, y'all. Um, the process of self-transformation will open up your eyes to the timeless truth of yourself. So she's finding herself. She's gaining more confidence. Confidence is having the belief in yourself to keep you going and the self-assurance to get you there, okay? So snaps for Divine Feminine, okay? Yeah, she's really simplified her life. She's being enlightened. She's rejuvenating. She's just, she's just more beautiful than ever. Like, if, if you haven't seen her in a while, she's, like, glowing right now. She's, like, looks better than she did before. Like, you're going to see her, and it's going to be like, damn, like, you look, like, what is this shine? What is this glow about you? You know, and she's just really determined and focused on her goals. Yeah. Creating new friendships. Finding the strengths. She's dreaming big, gaining clarity expressing herself more she's courageous divine feminines are doing it big they're doing it big <laughs> it's beautiful though let's get the romance angels out so that's their energy okay divine feminine is che is checking her energy she's tapping into her creativity she's transforming she's she's evolving spirit of the universe I call you forward in love, light, righteousness, and truth. What are divine feminine's message to their partners? I feel like they're working on themselves. It says it's safe for them to love. You know, they're opening up their heart to give and receive the highest of all energy, which is love. So I feel like their their energy is in a space of love. Again, because they're trying to be in this positive space, they're transforming. I feel like that's the energy that they want to keep. 
and they are trying to keep an open mind. So your soul may, may differ from your, your usual type and expectations, but I feel like with the Divine Feminine message to you, she is trying to keep an um, um, open mind about you. She also may be preoccupying herself with children, you know? She's, she's not focusing on you at this time, focusing on herself and her family. What else, Spirit? What else is Divine Feminine energy showing you at this moment in regards to their partners? They might be concerned with religious factors, Maybe you guys are both on different ends of the spectrum as far as um, religion goes. Um, maybe they're just having a spiritual awakening, evolving. Um, maybe their evolution in spirituality has them open. And maybe thinking about, about things differently. This is what changes their energy and, and has them going through this transformation that they're going through. Could be spiritual. What else can you tell us about the Divine Feminine at this time and the messages that they have for their partner? They want to give this relationship a chance. This Divine Feminine, these Divine Feminines still love y'all. They still love y'all. They want to give it a chance. It says, what are you, work on your partnership. That's what they would like to do with you if you're listening. What else does the Divine Feminine messages for their Divine Partners What messages does she also? What else does she have to say? She wants you to express your love. Your divine feminines are waiting for you to express their love. They want to express their love. Um, they want you to go ahead and make the romantic gesture. They're waiting on you. You know, they recognize that this is a past life relationship. They feel the connection. They know that they've known you before. And there's a strong attraction exuding from your feminine in regards to you and this partnership, right? They, they said that. They love you. They want to work on this. They want to get back together. You know, they they want to give this a chance. They want to express their love and they acknowledge the connection. What else, Spirit? What else does um, Divine Feminine want to say to their Divine Partners? They're calling you in. And I feel like you can feel it, right? They're, they're praying and they're affirming and they're visualizing you guys coming back together. You know, they're hoping for an engagement. They want to marry you. They want to take the next stage, stage with you. They want to move to that next stage and take that next step. They think that you're definitely worth waiting for. Um, they know that divine timing is at work, which is probably why they've just been working on themselves and their energy. Um, there is a few, they do, they do have a deceptive energy here as well. Maybe they've been keeping things from you. Maybe they're worried about what you're keeping from them or what they think you're keeping from them. Spirit, confirm the deception card here from Define Feminine. Um, they feel like certain things aren't over with. They feel like maybe you're being deceptive about what you're doing What's taking you so long? Like you're still going through some karmic, some tribulations. They feel like you're not being honest about that with them. Perhaps you've ghosted them. And their their energy towards you is like they, they just feel like there's some deception that's going on in that regard. Um, let's see. Why does the Divine Feminine feel deception? Clarify more so the, on the deception card. Again, she's not sure if she can trust you. She's scared. She's this is what's 
making her hold back. She's afraid. She's not sure. She's, she's, it's what's holding her back from going forward in the journey. Probably holding her back from reaching out to you is the fact that she feels deceived by you somehow. That you wore a mask with her in this situation. So she's unsure. Even though she loves you and she wants to give you a chance and she wants to move forward and she feels like this is worth waiting for, in the back of her mind, she's not sure about you. Why is she not sure about the divine partner spirit? She wants to make sure that justice and you've cleared up your past. So she wants to make sure she, she knows that you're going through something. She, at least she feels that way. That you're getting justice for, that you're creating balance for. And it has to do with your past. So perhaps um, you left... You left her for <clears throat> someone else in your past or went back to someone to your past. And you are you want to make your way back to her and she feels that and she wants that. But she doesn't want you to come back with the problems. And maybe you didn't let her know about these problems. Again, I feel like there's a ghosting energy that she feels from you. like And you, there was no explanation. Her intuitiveness is that she went back to a past relationship. And she wants to make sure that justice has been served and that that's been closed off and that you've balanced that off and that you know what you want. Um, what other messages do we have from the Divine Feminine? What other messages? She wants you guys to make the effort. She wants the divine partner to make the effort. She wants you to start taking steps towards her. Anything else? You walked away, so she wants you to come back. Is she saying that you need to get on this very soon? She wants it to happen sooner. She's like, she wants you to clearly decide what you want, right? That's what she wants. She wants you to clearly decide what you want. Um, I do feel like there's an energy of her even being a little fed up, like she is getting sick of waiting. What else about the divine feminine spirit? Would she like to tell her divine partner? Like even though she knows you're not worth waiting for, she's not gonna wait forever. What other messages from Divine Feminine Spirit for their Divine Partners? They feel very passionate about you. She's letting their friends help you help her through it. So she's she's distracting herself through friendships. She does believe that this is true love that she has with you. And she wants to let go of control issues. Right? That's probably what she's been working on, her transformation. And she just wants that flirty, fun time with you. Okay, so Divine Feminine has been working on herself, been going through the most, and she does want you to return back to her. She wants you to make the choice. She wants you to choose her love. She wants you to come back as she's feeling that the feeling in this situation is that you ghosted her. So now she's like, she's open to it. But <clears throat> you've got to make the move. You've got to show her that this is where you want to happen. You've got some proving to do. You have to make up for some stuff that you've been through that, and that you've put her through um, to make sure that she can trust this situation. Um, I am going to go um, to the extended version and I'm going to get into um, how open she is to forgiveness. I'm going to go into um, her expectations um, we're going to go into, like, again, what she feels is going on in your past that may be holding you back. And go even a little further in why she feels like there's there's deception here. Um, that's going to be in the extended version below. If this is where you get off, I love you. I believe in you. You've got this. Thank you so much. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Leave an energetic gift <laughs> by doing so, by, you know, smashing that like button. Um, and I hope to talk to you guys soon or see you in the next video. 
Love y'all.